Hi, Shannon from houseimprovements.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to cut out this cast pipe. We want to change the cast and replace it with an ABS pipe. So we're going to uh, basically make one cut. I've already made the cut up top and so the, the pipe is freestanding right now. Um, but I'm going to make this final cut down here at the bottom. I'm using a special blade in my reciprocating saw. Uh, the blade, you can't read it anymore, but it's a diamond embedded edge on it, especially made for cutting cast. So uh, they're, they're not cheap. Uh, this blade, I don't know, it's about an 8 inch blade. It was about $30 and you're usually lucky if you get three decent cuts out of it. So uh, it's not cheap, but it's not that often that you have to cut cast pipe. So um, basically the, the problem is that here where there used to be a sink drain, the, uh, the inside flange here is all rusted, corroded, the old piece is broken off inside. So we're going to just simply cut this off below the fitting. And we've, like I said, we've cut it off up top, remove the cast pipe, and uh, then I'm going to put in ABS and I'll show you how I'm doing that with the proper couplers and everything and a new, new fitting here, new TY. Um, one thing I've got to be cautious just uh, in this situation is I've got a ground copper wire here and I've got a copper pipe in behind so I just have to be careful of that I'm going to be cutting somewhere in this range here. Uh, something else when you're doing this cast pipe is very heavy. Uh, this piece of cast is about six seven feet tall and it's likely uh, at least 80 pounds. So uh, once I get so far I'll have somebody else just holding it steady for me and then the two of us will lift it off onto the floor and get it out of the way. So I'm going to use some hearing protection as it's a little bit loud and some eye, eye protection as well and then I'm going to start cutting. So you can see here, I cut, tried to cut as flat and straight as I could. So we've got our old pipe and we've got our piece that is, is now a very large awkward paperweight. So uh, we're just going to get this out of the way and then uh, change camera views and go from there. Okay, so we've got the uh, old cast pipe out of the way. We're left with a stub here sticking out of the floor. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, various pieces we're going to use to, uh, to uh, rejoin this all up. First we're going to use this rubber boot and uh, this slips over top the three inch pipe, uh, the three inch cast and uh, you can see it's got these stainless steel uh, clamps on the side. So it's going to slip over, the new pipe's going to come down, we'll pull it back up, tighten everything up. So that's our bottom uh, seal on this vent. Um, like I said before, we're trying to reincorporate uh, this uh, drain for, the, for what will be a vanity here eventually. Um, we're, we want to position this so that uh, the center of the uh, inch and a half fitting here on the side uh, that's going to the sink P-trap, this is about 18 inches off the floor, so that's what we're trying to get there. So we're basically going to have a long piece of pipe coming down into the top here, we're going to have a short stub and then this in the bottom to, to make everything work. Uh, you may notice some of our uh, viewers are definitely going to notice that I've dropped this uh, clamp down here. Uh, I'm not really sure that this is really doing any purpose of grounding. I think it's more just holding the wire uh, that was wrapped around this pipe before. This pipe being painted, uh, you're not really getting any bonding here. That en other end of that ground is coming over and grounded right on the, the water pipe. So just for those of you who uh, like to notice things like that, I thought I'd mention it. Uh, so those are our pieces down here. We're using 3 inch ABS. Uh, when we go all the way to the top up here, uh, we've already uh, brought the pipe, got rid of the cast up in the attic, brought the pipe down through the old ceiling and it's got just a slip fitting on there that's already glued to the ABS that I installed yesterday. We're going to apply glue and glue our new pipe into there. So, so we'll be using this contact glue here. It's made for the uh, ABS. It's called ABS solvent cement. It's made for these fittings. We don't, we don't glue this fitting. This is rubber. 
the the fitting itself is just uh, held in place and sealed with the uh, with the clamps that are on it so okay so I've already made my measurement I'm gonna cut this piece of three inch uh, when you're cutting ABS you can cut it on a chop saw you can cut it with a handsaw hacksaw anything like that uh, I'm gonna be using my cordless uh, skill saw um, so first of all obviously you could cut it with a recip saw as well just the, the key is to get a nice clean square cutter as best as you can. Uh, we're going to be needing 73 inches. And uh, one thing I find helpful as well is I use these silver uh, Sharpie markers when working with the ABS. They uh, put a nice permanent mark on there. It's easy to see because of the color on the black. And uh, it's just easier than pencil or, or anything else that I've tried. So, so I'm just going to bring this in here and cut it. Throw my earplugs in again. We're just working pretty confined space here, so things are pretty loud. So I'm going to uh, basically make a cut straight across here, and then this blade is not going to cut all the way through, so I'm going to have to roll the pipe to get the back side. So here we go. Okay, so uh, we've made our cut. I'm just uh, pulling off any of the little burrs of plastic that are around there. So we've got that one end. And uh, I'm, I'm going to basically uh, glue this one up in place. So to do that, I've got to apply some glue up in that fitting. Uh, it can be a little messy because this stuff's pretty, uh, pretty liquidy. Actually, you know what? For this one, I'm going to put it right on the pipe. I usually would put it in the fitting, but it may be easier because we're working above our head just to put this up here. So you just want to use the little brush that the glue comes with. Put a nice, uh, fairly liberal amount around there. Move it around with the brush. Make sure you're getting the whole surface. Then we can take our pipe insert it into that fitting and just kind of twist it up into place until it bottoms out just like so and uh, it doesn't take very long for the glue to kind of set up and, and start to bond um, you know within a minute or so it's going to be pretty tough to try to turn that pipe so we've got that piece all on there now what's going to happen is uh, this piece like I said is going to go on the bottom something that's important when you're dealing with these types of fittings no matter what the size is if you can see here when you zoom in a little bit this pipe that would fit in here you can see there's a bit of slope on the bottom where this uh, enters into the main pipe where at the top it's it's pretty much straight you want to make sure that this slope is the flow the in the direction of the flow of your water so our water would be coming in here and going down into the sewer system okay if we put it this way it just doesn't drain as good there's actually a upward lip as you go inside of there so if you put it in upside down, it's definitely not going to work as well. So just, just be aware of that. Make sure you got the uh, slope part going in the direction that you want the water to travel. The other thing to pay particular attention to is when I put this on, I want to get this orientated to the direction that I need it to go for the sink, which is basically just going to be straight out in this case. And, uh, and that's good. So we're going to put this on, we're going to glue it on, then I can measure what I need for the last piece of pipe and get that all in place. I've got a little bit of movement here that I can lift that upper section up and down to help uh, get everything into place here. So uh, we should be good. Okay, so I'm going to actually just dry fit this just to make sure everything lines up and it looks like we're going to be all right. I better put this on now before I forget because I won't get it on after. Um, so we should be all right. I'm gonna pull that off. Just wipe some of the dust off of that and out of there. Okay, I'm gonna glue this up. Same idea. I just want to apply some glue inside this uh, this lip here. 
Just simply wipe it all the way around, have a little look, make sure you got every surface. Give this a little bit of a twist as it's going up, get this orientated fairly quickly to where you want to be. And uh, it's all on there. So I'm going to close this up because it stinks like heck. And I'm going to measure what I need for a little piece here. Now remember your pipe is the piece that we put in here. We have to allow that it slides up inside of here and you can kind of feel the lip where it, where it would bottom out. Right about there. And it looks like uh, about seven inches should do it. I'm leaving myself about an eighth of an inch there of extra room just to have a little bit of space to work with. Mark my pipe and I'll cut it. Okay, so I've got my piece here. Again, I'm just uh, pulling off some of these little frayed bits that are left behind by the saw on both ends. And hopefully I can push that pipe up enough to uh, get this in between there. Let's just see, first of all, without any glue on. Yeah, I should be able to actually pull it over out of the off to the side to do it. So I'm going to glue this up and stick that in. And again, just because this is upside down, it's hard to get it. I'm going to put it right on the pipe, but it's usually better to put it in the fitting. But uh, it's just a little awkward the way that is. So you can see I'm putting on a pretty liberal amount. I don't want to spend all day brushing it on there perfect because it starts to set up pretty quick. Get it on there. a little twist and there we are so yeah we're about 18 and a quarter to the center of the hole but that'll, that'll be all right okay so we've got that all there all the pipe itself is glued together now this uh, rubber flange you just want to bring it up so the joint is about in the center of the flange, so you're about equally on, on uh, both sides of the, the new pipe and the old. We're going to tighten these clamps up. So there's different types of these rubber clamps depending what you're joining together. This one is made to join 3 inch cast to 3 inch uh, ABS. Got stainless steel clamps so that they uh, don't corrode and rust apart over time. Okay, so we've made that that connection there uh, good and solid. And uh, all I'm going to do now, uh, we aren't hooking the sink up today, so I'm just going to cut a short piece of uh, inch and a half, which is what this fitting is, inch and a half pipe with a cap on the end just to keep sewer gas from coming in here where we're where we're going to be working uh, once we actually do the sink and everything. That'll all get glued up and hooked into the P-trap and the sink and that. So uh, I'll do that after we wrap things up here. Um, so anyways, that's just a quick uh, demonstration on, mostly on how to cut that cast pipe and uh, you know a little bit on gluing some ABS together and, and why we're doing it. So if you want, you can uh, go to our forum, which you'll find on houseimprovements.com and uh, make any comments or suggestions, anything anything related to this or any other topic you want to discuss in uh, DIY type projects and I will try to give you an answer or somebody else hopefully uh, rooting around on there will find you and, and uh, help you out as well. Um, I think that's all I've got for you today. Thanks.